Now at 5.30, two men are in jail this morning charged with burglarizing a Lexington church. We'll tell you why they say they did it. The Lexington Humane Society needs your help. They say someone has stolen a puppy from the shelter and the deed was caught on camera. The last day of the legislative session lasted until nearly 3.30 this morning. We'll tell you what bills are headed to the governor's desk. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. It's your Wednesday. We're to Hump Day, March 25th. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope you have a good day today and enjoy this warmer weather because it will not be lasting, we're hearing. Right, up to about 70 degrees today, yeah. but you're right, it's a quick up and down. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're looking outside and we see uh, some rain out and about. Now, look, this isn't much rain. And, and what I mean by that, it's not heavy rain. You're going to get some sprinkles for the most part, but there are some embedded moderate showers back towards your west. It's just crossing over. 65 at this moment. The back of this energy is now crossing over 65, and once that passes through, there's really not much back behind that. So today will be a nice day. We just got to get rid of uh, that stuff this morning. Temperatures are there in the 50s and 40s. It feels quite nice. It's really not all that bad. This afternoon will feel amazing, 70 degrees. But you know what? Amazing doesn't last long. It only lasts for about 12 hours. And then it comes crashing right back down. I'll show you how low we go with those temperatures tomorrow. And not only that, possibility of some flakes in your forecast. It's unfortunate, but it's in there. I'll show you that coming up. Okay, we'll see you shortly. Let's get to the news. Well, new this morning, Lexington police arrested two men they say stole from a church. Police got a call about a burglary at Christ the King on Colony Boulevard late last night. WKYT's Mark Barber is live from the church this morning. Mark, good morning. What happened there? Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Police say they have not found any sign of a forced entry here at the church, so they think that the two men may have walked inside last night and then hid until the church closed for the night. Police tell us that 34 year old James Richardson and 19 year old Stephen Hawkins pried open three cash boxes in the church with scissors and then took off with $50. Officers were already searching the area around Christ the King Cathedral on Colony Boulevard because a witness reported seeing the two men enter the building around 10 o'clock last night. About an hour later, police say they spotted the men leaving the church. We're told they tried to get away, but investigators say they caught them and found the stolen cash in their pockets. According to an arrest citation, Hawkins confessed to police that they stole from the church to buy cigarettes. The two men are both being held on a $5,000 bond. They will be arraigned later today on third degree burglary charges. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Thanks so much, Mark. We are tracking a developing story out of Lexington this morning. A man has been rushed to the hospital after being hit by a car on Nicholsville Road at Tahoma Road, a very busy area there. Lexington police say the victim was taken to UK hospital with life threatening injuries, but was stabilized. Now we're told the man was walking across the road when he was hit. Police closed the inbound lane of Nicholsville Road from Southland Drive to Tahoma while they investigated. Officers tell us they are not expecting to file any charges. Charges at this time. A bold theft caught on camera. Folks at the Lexington Humane Society are asking for your help to find a stolen puppy. A couple came into the shelter and stole a 10 week old Thompson, the puppy, yesterday. He's an Australian cattle dog mixed with a blue healer. The couple took Thompson into the puppy play yard, that's according to the shelter, before throwing him over the fence and taking off. One worker says she's concerned for Thompson's health. We've got to find these people. We need to get this puppy back so that he can continue his medication. The fact that they did that shows that they're not really, they don't really care about the welfare of the animal. Um, I, we're amazed that this had happened. If you have any tips, you're asked to contact the police or the shelter's emergency line. That number is 233-0044, extension 247. Lexington police have arrested a man who they say is responsible for breaking into multiple apartments. According to court documents, 28-year-old Robert Britton burglarized three apartments, one on Maxwellton Court, one on North Broadway, and one on Arlington Avenue. Police say he stole items worth nearly $4,000. He is now charged with three counts of burglary. Well, new this morning, a Boyle County man is in jail once more, charged with drug trafficking. Boyle County deputies arrested 33-year-old parolee Michael Yates in Danville yesterday. They say they found him at an apartment with crystal meth, heroin, marijuana, and suboxone pills. He was on parole, stemming from another drug trafficking case from last year. 
A home health care worker is accused of ripping off two of her elderly patients. 51 year old Marsha Cook is facing theft charges in Lee County. From August 2011 to July of 2014, investigators say she stole two people's identities to take out $50,000 in student loans. The investigation into Cook began when one of the victims got a credit card bill in the mail. Troopers tell us Cook created an email address and a federal student loan profile using the victim's personal information. Many times financial things like this can be caught pretty early on. Unfortunately, this had been going on for about three years before she actually learned uh, that this person was using her name and information with these student loans. Cook is due in court on April 7th to be arraigned on the charges. Well, the Mercer County Sheriff's Office has a warning for homeowners about a man who's trying to break into homes. Deputies tell us the man is driving a silver Suzuki SUV with tinted windows that look much like this one. Deputies say the man tried to break into three homes yesterday. The attempted burglaries happened on Hudson Lane in the Fountain View subdivision in Harrodsburg. The time is 5.35 on WKYT this morning. It was a long day for Kentucky lawmakers. The legislative session wrapped up early this morning, just after 3 o'clock. WKYT Sean Moody is at our live desk with a look at what legislators accomplished during that long last day of the session. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Bill. That was a long last day. All session long, lawmakers have been talking about the need to pass heroin legislation. Last night, with just hours remaining in the House and Senate, sent a bill to the governor. Governor. Governor Steve Bashir said he would sign that bill first thing this morning. It's classified as an emergency, so it will take effect immediately. He called it, quote, the legislation Kentuckians have been waiting for. It will create a provision that will give a drug addict who reports an overdose victim legal immunity. Lawmakers say that will reduce overdose deaths. It will also increase penalties for people who are convicted of selling large amounts of heroin. The bill will also create an option for local governments to make a needle exchange program. Heroin addicts would be able to swap out their used needles for new ones. They say that would reduce the amount of dirty needles that create a danger to the public and to law enforcement. Now, the legislature also passed a bill requiring some DUI offenders to have ignition interlock devices installed on their cars. Drivers would have to blow into those devices to test their sobriety before the car will start. Representative Dennis Keene had introduced similar bills for the past several years before this one passed. It now goes on to Governor Bashir. At the live desk, Sean Moody, WKYT. All right, Sean, thank you. And legislators also passed a bill to further protect children from Internet predators. That measure would increase the amount of money flowing into Internet Crimes Against Children task forces set up by the state police. That money would come from court costs in criminal cases. The other part of the bill will not let people charged in human trafficking cases use the defense that they didn't know the young victim's age. That bill now goes on to Governor Bashir. Another bill headed to the governor's desk will change booster seat laws. The state legislature passed a bill raising the height and age requirement for booster seats. Current law requires kids under the age of seven and between the ages of 40 and 50 inches to ride in a seat. Uh, the measurements there, but under the new legislation, the age requirement would be eight years old and the height requirement would be 57 inches. And as the state legislature worked to pass the heroin bill, UK hospital leaders were working on finalizing a plan to hand out heroin reversal kits to overdose patients. Those kits, which will be available soon, include two doses of Narcan, a drug that immediately reverses the effects of heroin. An emergency physician at UK hospital says he sees around one or two heroin overdoses a week. But with those kits, someone with the overdose victim can administer the drug and potentially save their life. What it does is you give it to them and on somebody who's barely breathing, they've overdosed, they're at the risk of dying, then naloxone can save their life. There's no doubt about it. Naloxone's a life-saving medication. Some skeptics think the kits are a way of enabling an addict, but Dr. Stanton says it's a means of giving them a second chance. This project is funded through the Substance Abuse Treatment Advisory Committee. It is expected to be up and running by late spring. Well, the first school food pantry in Fayette County has opened up at Bryan Station High School. The goal of the program is to provide free food to students who need it so they can focus on their homework and not their hunger. The pantry will serve about 30 students a week. Each student will receive about 30 pounds of food for themselves and their siblings. God's Pantry Food Bank says they chose Bryan Station for their first school pantry because so many students go hungry at home. 
A dog found injured along a Garrett County road has been reunited with its real owner. Officials with the Garrett County Animal Shelter believe Rampage's injuries came from a dog fighting ring. While they searched for clues to Rampage's past, a Pulaski County woman searched online for a clue of her own. Tricia Wheeler says Rampage was actually stolen from her two years ago. Someone messaged me last night and they said, did you see Rampage on the news? I said no. And they sent me a link to WKYT and I went to the link and I saw the dog's eyes. I didn't have to see the body or anything. I knew that this was my dog. Shelter leaders say Wheeler did have the paperwork to prove that she was Rampage's owner. He is going home with his old owner, but investigators are still trying to find the person responsible for injuring the dog. So at least it ends well as far as the dog will be home. Yeah. Time this morning is 5:40, 20 till 6 on WKYT this morning. Let's take a look at live drive traffic. See what is happening out on the roads on this early Wednesday morning. Broadway and High Street, and we'll let you know that a new traffic trouble spot that uh, you could uh, be encountering, Polo Club Boulevard between Man of War and Winchester Road, going to be uh, having one lane blocked in each direction for some turn lane construction that will go on through about April 10th. A lot of uh, construction going on with some uh, new retail. Development around that area. So uh, there you go. It's going to get yeah. busy. They're in the Hamburg area. Just got to stay patient this time of year because as it gets warmer, construction, it increases. You got it. And we have a lot more news coming up for you Wednesday morning on WKYT. Well, maybe he was just trying to make a withdrawal, but he sure did scare these bank employees. Find out how this owl got inside an uh. Illinois bank in just a few minutes. Current temperatures sitting there in the 40s and 50s. It will feel fantastic today as we really jump those temperatures this afternoon to 70 degrees. But it doesn't last long. Old man winter comes flying back in here tomorrow. And I'll show you the latest forecast coming up.